Hello YouTube, my name is James Bales with Best Pro Audio and I'm going to walk through uh, the procedure to use pink noise through a Midas MR12 uh, in order to auto EQ a PA system. So just quickly here's the setup. I've got a Midas MR12 on top of it I have a battery pack and I also have a separate router uh, I just with a separate router I, I get better uh, more reliable uh, signal than with the internal so I've got these things actually uh, both connected to the battery pack and then there's a switch so you can turn the router off and on all that is just simply connected with uh, Velcro so it can be pulled apart. Uh, and then I've got a, a Surface, Microsoft Surface 3, that I'm just using to play audio files directly hooked up uh, via a 3.5 millimeter to dual quarter inch cable. I'm using uh, JBL IRX 108BT uh, and I'm not using the Bluetooth function I'm running out of the MR12 as you can see directly into the back this way uh, the pink noise and the audio signal everything is running through the MR12 and I'm, you'll be able to see on the iPad this is an iPad Air, the, the third, third release of the iPad Air. And I'm using it uh, for uh, control of the Midas MR12. Alright, so to get started, I've already got everything set up. So uh, the MR12 is already hooked to the router. Uh, and so is the iPad so I do have full control uh, and then I've already downloaded uh, I've got an audio file called check uh, which is a copyright free song written by my daughter and a co-writer and then I've got a, a, a pink noise I downloaded from a site called audiocheck.net it's 15 minutes of continuous pink noise okay now in order to to make the system work I've got to go back home here and I'm using an app called M air IEQ start that app up you can see as I'm talking uh, you can actually see the the waves uh, they're indicated on the screen of the iPad going to go into the settings menu. I've already set this up so if you go to the MR12 IP address uh, you simply put in the IP address of the MR12 or the MR18 or uh, the Behringer wireless mixer XR12, XR16 or XR18 and uh, you once you've got that address in then this will work seamlessly with the mixer. Okay, now the, the left and right main outs have a built-in 31 band EQ and so does each bus. So you can select which bus you'd like to EQ or the left and right outs. You can also pick or put an, uh, uh, a 31 band EQ in any one of the four racks uh, effect racks and then select which rack that 31 band EQ is located and auto EQ that okay so I'm gonna go back to the left and right bus uh, you can choose number of bands low and high to ignore and it'll just simply leave them alone completely. Uh, I just turn those down to zero and it frankly doesn't seem to matter. 
Uh, and you can also set the gain, which I've left at 100%. All right, now if we go to inputs, you can select which iPad microphone you want to use. So you can actually use the internal microphones on the iPad, or you can plug a measurement microphone into the iPad. And I have one. I'm going to show you here. It's by Dayton Audio. You can pick it up on uh, Amazon. It's around 20 25 bucks. Has lots of good reviews, and I've used it with lots of luck. So I'm going to put that in and then show you how to uh, select it for use with this app. Okay, now I've plugged in the measurement microphone and it automatically detects it as the headset microphone. So very easy to do. Then we'll click done. So now I've got all the settings correct uh, to begin the auto EQ process. So we'll go to done. I'll click RTA slash GEQ and we've got a completely flat EQ curve, curve to start with. Um, so in order to start the process, we go to our, our audio player. In this case, I'm using the Surface and I'm just simply going to start up the pink noise. All right, now you can hear the pink noise has started. I'm going to increase the volume on the pink noise. All right, now one thing you need to do when you're setting up the measurement microphone in conjunction with your speaker or speakers, is you want to put this measurement microphone in the sweet spot, in the listening spot. So, middle of the dance floor, uh, front of house, uh, wherever you place this mic, it's going to auto EQ for that specific location. So, this is probably a little close. I'm just, I've got it roughly four or five feet away from the speaker just for testing purposes. So now, you can see it's hearing the pink noise, and then when you're ready, you simply press Auto EQ. And then you press Replace or Merge. I always replace. Okay, now you can see the EQ curve has modified, and that's based on the pink noise. And if we go back to, let's see, let's go back to the MR12. You can see this is the stereo input that I'm using for the Surface 3. Now, now I'm going to go back and stop the pink noise. Then I'm going to play the song Check. Now, before I start the song, I'm going to turn off the EQ. So you'll be able to tell what the song sounds like before and after the EQ. Okay. So here we go.
Okay, now, one thing that it does is you do lose some volume uh, when you EQ because everything, uh, you know, adjusts around zero. Most of it looks like it drops out. So one thing we can do to compensate for that is go back to MR EQ and you've got some adjustments you can make. So this button, you can actually off, uh, provide an offset to where all of these bands move up to compensate for the volume loss. So let's go to, let's say 20%. You can also, let's see, wish to keep the EQ curve? Yes. You can go to uh, a scale for the auto EQ. Now sometimes you may feel like it's losing too much uh, mid-range and low end, uh, or maybe it's not quite drastic enough. So you can increase the scale and it compensates and increases the scale of each band to where you still have the curve, but it's more drastic. Go back to zero, or you can reduce that to where it's not quite as, as drastic uh, in the sound, but it follows that same EQ curve. I get best results, I think, around 0.8 for the scale. So then, this also lets you uh, adjust the number of bands, high or low, that are ignored. So let's go back. We'll go back to the EQ. Now you can see, you can actually see the bands adjusting uh, from the volume compensation. So I'm going to start the song back. Turn off the EQ. Uh, using the pink noise and the reverberation of the room and we're out in a garage so lots of hard surfaces uh, it's knocking out a lot of those problem uh, frequencies uh, that can cause feedback issues and greatly uh, dramatically cleans up the the sound of the overall mix so uh, let me know what you think in the comments uh, again this was uh, how to auto EQ using pink noise with a minus MR12 and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm, I'm putting links in the description to the different uh, components of this setup uh, and feel free to ask me any kind of questions you may have um, and I'll be glad to do my best to answer them. Thank you.